Hello, everyone. I want to invite you to the holy worship service of Father God in heaven. To see the presence of the Holy Spirit, we must be cleansed ourselves by the blood of Jesus Christ. If not, there's no way to see the glory of God, okay? Even though he presented in the Spirit. Heavenly Father, we are here together in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to worship our Father God because we know only one that we can worship is Father God, our Lord Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Open our eyes and ears and so that we may understand your words because you said, as you said, all words, all the words spoken by you are spirit and life. Nobody Nobody's word can be spirit and life. Only words of the Lord, spirit and life. Thank you, Father. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, let me read the book of Psalm, chapter 22. Actually, it is in the words of Jesus Christ when he was on the cross, six hours for our sins shedding all his blood, okay? Listen very carefully. You shall understand what kind of love is God has given to you, sending his only one begotten son. Unless you know the grace of the Lord, you cannot behave yourself in the earth. You don't know what to do, how to work during the life, in current, present life. 70 years, 80 years. Amen? And let me read. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring, O oh my God, I cried in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy, O thou that habitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man a reproach of man, and despised of the people. All they that see me, laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord, that he would deliver him, and let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. Thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make, make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me. Strong birds of uh, Bashan have beset me around. They gave, they gave upon me with their mouth as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up, dried up like a pasture, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, and they pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones. They took and sh stare upon me. They part my garments among them, 
and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord, all my strength has thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All. But you, the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him, all you, the seed of Israel. For ye has not despised nor ever heard the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him, but when he cried unto him, he heard, My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord. And thus seek him, your heart shall live forever. All the angels of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare the righteousness unto a people. They shall be born that he hath done this. Can you imagine Jesus Christ that cried out, Say all this psalm, okay? King David, in the Holy Spirit, he didn't know what he said. But actually, the Holy Spirit put all the words of Jesus Christ on the cross upon the mouth of King David. Let him pray in the Holy Spirit. He didn't know what he was talking about. It is prophecy. All right. Today's main scripture is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 through 16. Isaiah 41, chapter 10 through verse 16. Let me read it for you. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah. I will help thee, yeah. I will behold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with they shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that were against thee, shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou warm, Jacob, and you, man of Israel, I will help thee, says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp, thrusting instrument having teeth. Thou shalt beat them small. A teeth, thou shalt thrash the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, 
and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. You know, it is spoken to Israel, but also spoken to us. If you are children of God, if you are not, all right, you must be brave because he is with us. You believe in that? You, if you believe in that, no fear at all. No fear at all, all right? Your God has chosen Jacob, his grandson of Abraham, to make his children the nation of priests on earth. The priest nation is what? They're going to be the owner of the whole earth when Jesus comes back as a king of a king in the lost. Knowing the plan of God, the devil that brought forth sin to the earth has been persecuting them and sweeping from the face of the earth unto death for 4,000 years, using his power, that is principalities, the power, the rulers, the darkness, and the wicked spirit in high places, since Abraham received the covenant from God. Yeah, devil laws, you know, the earth is given to Israel, and also children of God. Devil laws that. But unfortunately, these days in you know, the modern churches, you know, totally ignorant with that. That's why, you know, they totally love the world that is ruled by the devil. Oh, what a, what a problem it is. What a pity it is. I sympathize with them. If you really don't, you are ignorant of that, I sympathize with you also. You have to pray for that, okay? This world not going to continue forever. Can you imagine that? No. If you think so, you must be fooled. The devil intended to annihilate them all without leaving none on earth. You know, Hitler, Hitler tried to do that, right? Though the last world war, through the last world war, God foresaw all the things that was going to happen against them in the future, he said to his people. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee, shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee, they that were. That's right. The history of mankind testifies that all the words of promise of God for Israel have been fulfilled to the eyes of all men. All the nations such as Babylon, Assyria, Egypt, Persia, Greece, Roman Empire, and Nazis have been getting angry with them to swallow them up, to sweep them away from the face of the earth. But the right hand of the Lord God was with them to make all of them to be cut off from the earth and to be as nothing. Right? Yeah, you just learn world history in school, right? Now yeah, you can check it, how the words of God has been fulfilled. God says of Jacob as a warm, warm, as a warm, right? There is no choice but to discard dead insects as inferior creatures without stepping on power. So the people of Israel, such as worms, there was no choice about to vanish from the earth thousands of years ago without the help of God. But God will lead the remnant of Israel to his kingdom when they repent their sins, that they pierced God, they killed God, the Lord Jesus Christ, at the end of the great tribulation after rapture. That is the last one week prophesied by Prophet Daniel. And God will make them the nation of priests for the Gentile nations, reigning with Lord Jesus Christ, ruling with the iron rod, 
as the King of the Kings and Lord of the Lords. God spoke of their position in the earth in the future. Fear not, the warm Jacob and you men of Israel, I will have thee, says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thrash the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make a hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away. And a fall wind, that's tornado, right? Fall wind shall see, uh, scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, it's a future history. Why future history? It shall be done without any mistake. We can see it is very near before the words of promise for Israel to be fulfilled. All the nations that harassed Israel have been cut off or asked to be nothing, as ever seen through the human history. But the nation of Israel, they was as weak as a worm, has never been cut off, but still standing firm even without changing the name of Israel for thousand thousand years. It's a miracle, right? It's not a miracle because God has done for them. Even their, their, you know, their money, all right, monetary is still shekel. Shekel. When I went to Israel, I used a shekel. Same shekel, same name Israel. We are able to see in the future all the ways, no more through Roman but through Jerusalem, because there shall be, you know, the capital city of, you know, the world, no more Rome, no more Washington, D.C., but shall be Jerusalem, because, you know, King of Kings, you know, a lot of laws shall be sitting at the throne of God in Jerusalem. It is called a Zion. God planned to plant a child, the children of Jacob in the earth that was created, he has neither slumber nor sleep to keep them. Jesus appeared to the earth as a seed of tribe Judah, spoke in the midst of suffering on the cross to take away the sin of them that are to be adopted in him as well as the pride people of Israel. Yeah, Jesus also said, but I am a worm. On the cross, he said, I am a worm. Why? His whole body from top of the head to the end of the toe, totally right. Change it red with his blood. Thong crown, make your whole face and make him, you know, bloody. And four nails, right? The feet and hands and also a spear on, you know, just under uh, his heart. All, you know, water and uh, blood flowed, flew out. Nothing left. He just became a kind of worm, very big worm. He said, but I'm a worm. And no man, a reproach of man and despise of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake their hearts, saying, He trusts on the Lord that he would deliver him, and let him deliver him, saying, He delighted in him. They mocked. You know, sinners mocked at God. How many people mock at God? Many American people say, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, right? Because it's a cursing word. You know, still they're mocking at Jesus Christ. He also says, I'll declare the name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation. He knew when he died and rise again, you know, the sad Holy Spirit, whosoever believe in him shall be the member of a church in a congregation to be his bro brothers. In the midst of the congregation, will I praise thee? You that fear of the Lord, praise him. All you the seed of Jacob, Glorify him and fear him, all you the seed of Israel. All the end of the world, 
including Korea, right? Shall remember and turn unto the Lord. Yeah, we turn unto the Lord Jesus through faith, right? Believe in Him. And all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before thee. When Jesus comes back, they have to worship him. For the kingdom is the Lord's. And he is the governor among the nations. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. That's 2,000 years. Generation. Generation to be children of God. God so loved the world. The Son, the only begotten Son, whosoever believe in Him shall not perish, but receive everlasting life. God so loved killing only one begotten Son to save us. It's the love of God. Many people, God is love. He so loved, so loved us. The love of God is what? To punish his only begotten son on the cross where we are supposed to be judged. This is love of God. Really you understand love of God? Many people say God is love, God is love, but they sin, sin every day. They don't know love of God. They're not the people who don't believe in Jesus. No. They're lip service. I believe in Jesus. It's a lip service. God knows that. Very careful. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he hath done this. That's right. He died as a worm and rose again to take away the sin of Israel as weak as a worm as well as the children of God to make them strong ones in heaven and earth and to make them feel in all the universe, even though Israel and the church of God seems to be still weak, just like a worm, but they shall no more fragile weak as a worm anymore, but to be as a new sharp thrusting instrument having teeth. This is the reason why the church of God has to look forward to the day of Christ, that is the day of resurrection, when he appears again to take us home. Looking forward to the day of Christ, Apostle Paul testified of his life, how much weak he was as a worm. Yes, he's a sample, he's a real model of a real Christian. Devoted Christian, okay? Listen very carefully. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a foolish. I am more in labors and more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in death of. Of the Jews five times received, I forty stripes save me, save one. Thrice, the three times was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day. I have been in the deep, in journeys often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among False brethren. Yeah, there are so many false brothers and sisters in the church. Not born again Christian. And not born again Christian, just, you know, persecuted, real born again Christian these days. In weariness and painfulness, in watching often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness, beside those things that are without, that which comes upon my daily the care of all other churches. Yes, it's just worried about churches, members. Who is weak? And I am not weak. Who is offended? And I born not. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. Yes, it's praise infirmities, right? 
even though he was, you know, mocked, you know, reproaches, insulted, and persecuted, he was in poverty, you know, in distress, he just rejoiced for the sake of Christ. Now, thinking about Jesus Christ, and we can, we can praise the Lord, nothing but praising his, him, his, his, you know, his name. Apostle Paul was rejoicing all the evidence about the reason for weakness and humil humiliation, persecution, and poverty and distress for Christ's sake. He said, when I'm weak, then I am strong. Listen very carefully. If you don't listen to it carefully, you don't understand what it means. If not, you will think his words are strange, just like a summon from alien, right? <laughs> because, you know, we cannot, it's hard we can find out this kind of Christian these days. 99% love their own lust, not Jesus Christ at all. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no res resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Yeah, and we are found false witnesses of God. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ. Whom he raised us not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. You are yet in your sins. Then there also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have a hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Unless you believe you're going to be resurrected through the power of the Holy Spirit after that, or if Jesus comes when you're alive, without seeing death, you shall be changed to be immortal or incorruptible body. Do you believe that? Jesus said to Martha, you know, sister of Nazareth, whoso believe in me shall not die. And you believe. If, believe me, if you die, you shall live. You believe me when you, uh, while you live, you sh should never die. Jesus said, and also said that. Do you believe this now? Then Martha said, yes, I believe in you. Right after that, Jesus called the name of Lazarus. Lazarus come out. You know, it took four days already after his death. He was corrupted already, but he just rose up and to walk out. You know that? Our faith is what? Resurrection. Over body. If you don't believe the resurrection of your body, you don't have to be here. That's why, you know, Apostle said, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Yeah. Not believing, you know, the resurrection of body, because we believe in Jesus Christ. Even to come to church, usually, you'd better go play. You'd better, you know, go everywhere you like to satisfy your, your lust of flesh and lust of eyes and pride of life until you die. You make a choice. That's right. When we stand firm in the hope of resurrection in the day of Christ when he appears not only we are able to overcome infirmities, reproaches, poverty, persecution, and distress, but be able to rejoice 
for those for the sake of Christ looking forward the day before us. I bless all of you to have a faith in him. That's why you never chase the lust of flesh, lust of eyes, the pride of life, color of life, but to have a faith, you know, in eternal life, eternal blessing. Father, give them, Lord, a spirit of wisdom and revelation and open their eyes understanding so that they may be able to be looking forward to the days of resurrection when Jesus comes back. Nobody can give the understanding. Only anointed, anointing of the Holy Spirit can teach them, Lord. Lord, I praise, I pray thee, Lord, to give them such kind of faith. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen.